नमस्ते नमस्कार वनकम एंड वेलकम टू अपोलो ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन हेल्थ आर हेल्थ आर इज पावर्ड बाय एक्सपर्ट्स फ्रॉम अपोलो हॉस्पिटल्स अक्रॉस इंडिया वेर वी ब्रिंग इन एवरी संडे इलेवन टू ट्वेल्व एन एक्सपर्ट टू टॉक टू यू इन दिस लाइव सेशन सो टूडे वी गोन टॉक अबाउट नी पेन घुटनों में दर्द के बारे में हम लोग बात करने वाले हैं इट्स नॉट जस्ट गोइंग टू बी ए कन्वर्जेशन विद आर एक्सपर्ट इट्स गोइंग टू बी एन इंटरक्टिव शो Join us on YouTube. You must be watching this on Instagram and Facebook pages as well. But if you want a query or a question to be answered, I request you, I urge you all to join us on the YouTube chat. Do come onto the YouTube in the chat box. Type your question. I shall place the question before the expert today and bring an answer uh, for your question. Also on the show, we have a health quiz coming up, and we do give away discount vouchers which you can use on the Apollo Twenty Four Seven app. I urge you to download Apollo Twenty Four Seven app, which brings the entire Apollo facility to your mobile phone. So, चलिए आज के टॉपिक के बारे में बात करते हैं. We're going to talk about knee pain, all the home remedies, physical therapy, surgeries, and more. And today we are going to be joined by Dr. Vijay Kishore Reddy, who is orthopedician from Apollo Hospitals, Greens Road, Chennai, and. Uh, with more than 15 years of experience dr vijay kishore reddy can be consulted for robotic knee replacement knee ligament surgeries total shoulder replacements arthroscopy acl and pcl uh, meniscal repairs and he is a medical council of india professional membership hanka uh, and also he has a professional membership in indian arthroscopic society international society for arthroscopy and knee surgery and also madras orthopedic society Here we have Dr. Vijay Kishore Reddy. Good morning, Dr. Garu. Welcome to the show. Namaste, Jansi Garu. Very, 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 very good morning. Yes, the Apollo Twenty Four Sevens Health Hour has watched entire country. People join us from all parts, north, east, west, south. But I understand that uh, today you, we have an expert who also speaks all four languages: English, Hindi, Telugu, Tamil, and understands a bit of Kannada as well. So here is Dr. Vijay Kishore Reddy who can answer. If you require any of the South Indian languages, he can answer in your language as well. So, Doctor Garu, Namaskaram once again, and welcome to the show. Namaste, Madam. Yes. So, pain is something that stops you from doing a lot of things, but knee pain is something that stops entirely a, a person's mobility. What is the yes. cause of knee pain? Let's start with why does something like a, a when when the other parts of the body are fine they don't age they don't uh, have any problem why is it only with our knee joint that gudno mein dard why does it start so as all of you know that knee joint is a weight bearing joint uh, ah. knee joint is a one of the largest joint in our body okay this no bigger joint than the knee joint in our body so if you see A shoulder, wrist, elbow, or a weight-sharing joints. Uh huh. If you see the knee joint is a weight-bearing joint. It it bears your weight, literally. Okay. Uh, in the hip, in the knee, in the ankle, knee which takes more load than the hip and ankle. If you see right. our population, Indian population, uh, we do sit a lot on ground. and uh, probably 15 years 20 years back we've been still using indian toilets correct squat more we sit, yes squat and we sit down and eat in many occasions for festivals for many occasions for poojas so after certain age knee also will have a wear and tear right like a knee is like a tire tire comes for a good 30 to 35 years knee also god has given beautifully for 50 if you don't maintain well the knee will give turbulence and turbulence depends on how you maintain your knee joint right so maintain, so this is a kind of warning signal warning age of uh, that you have given us that 50 ke andar you got to maintain post 50 is all uh, repairs What what yeah what you maintain it will give you that much length. Oh, alright. So now let's come well, to the maintenance part. So what is it that is you you explain that we trouble our joint, but what is it that I can do to maintain a good health? See, uh, very very nice question. Uh, when main thing is the body weight. As I said, it's a weight bearing joint. Right. If you maintain the body weight, 
you can minimize the problems in the knee joint. Okay, so first and foremost is maintaining optimal body weight so that the joint is healthy. Yeah. That's and it. Second thing. Uh, yeah. No, that's not. It. <laughs> no, no, that's <laughs> not. <the thing. laughs> so if you have any injuries in a young age, ah. don't neglect them. Okay. Go to a proper specialist, screen them to come out and evaluate completely your problems in the knee so that you will have a great knee forward. If you don't right. address them, then you will come into a very bigger picture where you'll end up in a bigger surgeries right. and undergo knee replacement in early age. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So injuries something. are something that we need to check. One is body weight. And what kind of role does uh, exercise in being fit uh, or uh, exercising a joint play? Yes, the exercise, the joints are very, very important. And uh, exercising as a whole for body is very important every day. If you want to live a good life, then you need to do 45 minutes of workout, whatever it may be. It may be a walking, cycling, swimming, whatever it is. Whatever you can do, you have to do. Good work is always hard. You have to live for your 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 you want a best organs to function in your body then you must exercise that's without saying you one should do every day for 45 minutes wonderful so uh, doctor there's something that we all are going through collectively as a generation that schools we don't have physical activities much colleges we don't have much work we have come to an entire generation of desktop jobs where you sit and work what are we causing? What is the problem with uh, the long sitting? A very, very nice question, madam. And uh, now we call as a sitting for a long duration is a new smoking. New smoking? Meaning like, yeah, sitting is equal to smoking. So you sit for a long duration. That means you are just taking two cigarettes. Probably a one hour you're sitting, you're taking two, three cigarettes. So don't sit for a long duration especially youngsters and as well as elders. Now, I do see a lot of IT professionals who sit for 13 hours, 12 hours in front of the desk. They do come at very young age telling, I, I have a knee pain, which we never mm. used to see before. Everyone who, who used to see in ROP above 50 is telling knee pain. But you see at 25, 23, 18, people do come to me, I have a knee pain. So sitting for a long duration in a 90 degrees flexion, in the knee joint can give rise a lot of issues in the knee joint as days goes. So every so 30 minutes just, one should get. Yeah. yeah, every 30 minutes one should move. If you're not able to move, move, are there any solutions, doctor, that I can raise my legs or move my legs under the desk? No, there are classes, there are online. Nice question, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think because so. both of us actually, both, both yeah, of us are sitting are for one hour. Yeah, I'm going to give you a tip business. also. <laughs> So yeah. uh, when we are sitting uh, in a chair, I want uh, you know people to do. And uh, suppose we are bending the knee to ninety degrees, extend into zero degrees and bend. Even you can okay. do little extension, flexion of the knee. This will give you a more you know the movement in in the knee joint. Right. And right. every thirty to forty minutes, once you do a ankle pumps twenty times. Ankle pumps. After you sit, you lift your ankle and. Uh, um, the, the toes are on the feet? Yeah. Yeah. Toes are on the feet. Toes are on the ground. Yes. yes. Yeah. Up and, and down. Up and down. Up. Yeah. yeah. What happens? There is a lot of circulation happens and a lot of muscular movement will happen. So one need to do an ankle and a knee range of motion if you are sitting for a long duration. In short. Wonderful. And also while we are working out, these uh, generation, either there's a population of pendulum population who work out severely or do not get enough workout or do not work out only. So but let's talk about the people who are working out excessively. So is the sports injuries or any other problems due to excessive workout? See, ma'am, I do uh, deal with a lot of uh, aggressive sports people and I, I do deal, deal a lot with them. Uh, so the people who walk walk out in a very 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 aggressively for the long hours, they must be even more careful because they have to have a strategy. 
they need to have a physical fitness trainer with them otherwise they are more prone for injuries what we mm. see with the day in and day out with them and uh, for some extent they are very very careful now because uh, they are keeping everything into account where they keep a physical trainer with them they know what they do and don'ts and they do plan prior workouts a proper uh, you know the warm up sessions which okay. is uh, you know again coming to a people who doesn't work out that many hours per day or that many hours per week they go inside the you know in the gym or inside the tennis or inside the shuttle without warming up and mm. this cause a lot of problems and this is what we are treating nowadays a lot of them do come with the injuries saying doc i fall down in the tennis court i fall down in the shuttle court why because you are not properly done the warm up exercises right so this is very important if you are working out please make sure that you have warmed up enough before you take up any strenuous activity uh, so i see a few of our uh, audience have joined which is very interesting to see that they're while we are talking about exercising population who's young at age manish sharma ji uh, is asking why is knee pain more common in elderly patients so i have already explained a knee joint is a weight bearing joint god has given greatly for 50 years after 50 years we do see every five in one have osteoarthritis so the more you maintain the better is the knee is going to be the less you maintain the knee problems are going to be worst so there mm. is a grade 1 to grade 4 arthritis so if it is a minimal issues with the knee then you one need to be very very careful that it doesn't go to the greater severity so, of the arthritis so so arthritis is a word uh, which which is like a wider range thoda dar lagta hai you know it sounds as if you have a very big kind of issue around uh, your knees but what is arthritis what does it mean and who can have it what is osteoarthritis age and gender how does that matter osteoarthritis is very simple it causes because of the degeneration of the joint ha huh. it's a age related problem okay so usme kya hota hai knee joint ke andar jo cushion hota hai wo dheere 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 se destroy ho jata hai uske wajah se knee joint ka jo alignment hai that will get disturbed hence there will be a little deformity and slowly they will have a difficulty in working okay so now as i understand there is a, a, a one of the earlier sessions that there is an expert who did tell us that as you moving there is a kind of fluid or a gel which is being produced and if you are not moving enough that is reduced so ipudu telugu lo cheppalante there is one beautiful proverb kodi munda guddu munda ani now if i have pain my mobility is reduced if i need mobility i need to move more in the situation where my knee joint is affected slightly and if i want to get back with the pain how can i address my knee issues so this question i'll take it in two shots uh, if someone come with the same problem in anger age okay i need to screen them why they have a problem ah makes sense this can happen it may be because of the meniscal injury is can mm-hmm. be because of the cartilage injury it can be okay. because of the ligament injury so okay. young people we need to screen them what they are suffering from okay. very unlikely that they get a osteoarthritis in a young generation okay if you see above 50 who come with the problem what you are explaining to me at the moment then it will be usually osteoarthritis if it is a grade 1 to me chepna to there will be a less gel inside the joint knee is dried up mm-hmm. we can give a shot of uh, gel injections to make little more lubricant the joint if it is a grade 3 4 which is almost destroyed joint we must think about replacing it all right so we here we are opening a door for a larger conversation we will get to Correct. you know who requires a replacement and who what what is the extent so one before i take mr arif khan's and uh, neha and mahendran's questions i'm going to ask your questions in a very short while dear viewers but before uh, relating to the last answer that you have given us doctor when we understand that uh, there is a fluid and there's an injection that could be given 
you know, uh, uh, exercising every day can really get tough for a lot of people, especially elderly. So can they start exercising while, while they're in pain? So these are the exercises. They are not like running or they are not like doing a aggressive cycling or something. These are the simple exercises for the knee joint. If you see knee joint in front of the knee joint, there is a quads back mm -hmm. of the knee joint. There is a hamstrings. These exercises make sure the surrounding the knee joint muscles will get more stronger. Mm. Then bone also will become a strong and they will have a good range of motion. They won't have much issues if they do these exercises correctly in mm. any which stage from one to four. They will definitely get better. These are not exercises which they the knee worst, actually speaking. All right. All right. So here's uh, 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 Sarab Jyot Marwa's question. Both my knees have a burning sensation and pain whenever I bend more than 90 degrees. What could be possible reason? So Sarab Jyot Ji, aap, uh, Ek bar aapka age bhi dal na, please. We doctor will be able to answer better if you if we know the age. I, I'll wait for Sarah Jodh's. Uh, so range of motion of the knee, what is normal and what is more than beyond normal and which is dangerous uh, for the knee? See ma'am, uh, range of motion in the knee is about 0 to 130. For an actual uh, for a knee joint to function correctly when you're running, when you're walking, you need a good amount of 0 to 130 degrees. What happens in osteoarthritis, slowly the knee joint will have a restriction of movements. Some okay. people will have a flexion deformity, some people will have a fixed flexion deformity, some people will have a varus and valgus deformity also. Okay. So this will happen when the disease will get progressed. Mm -hmm. So they do exercises on a regular basis, they can stop this deformity actually. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So, uh, uh, so with that, I think I'll uh, take Mr. Mahindran's question, which is very important uh, because that's what we all do. The moment there is some kind of knee pain, we all apply some ointment or an oil. So, Mr. Mahindran is asking, what sort of oil should I apply for knee pain? Now, the entire market of Pain relief ortho oils is huge. And what's your take on it? So actually, very nice question. Even I was seeing uh, one week back, uh, you know, in a television uh, with my daughter. She was telling me, she showed me something. She knows that I'm an orthopedic surgeon. So some oil they applied and some vapors are coming from the skin, you know. <laughs> and then, then it's showing that, you know, knee joint is getting better after applying this oil. I think it's all a trash, my opinion. Because arthritis is something very inside story. Whatever application of ointment or oil, it will go to the skin, subcutaneous tissue, maximum to the fat. It cannot go inside the joint because joint is something inside. And the problem, what happens in the knee joint will be these two joints, the thigh bone and the knee bone. So this cannot go inside the joint and makes you, you know, all right. I think when I, whenever I've seen, I was just thinking, oh my God, what a remedy. If that is the case, we would have sat without any work, sitting absolutely at home. <laughs> no machines, no surgeries. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Uh, uh, no, no MBBS and no, no post uh, studies of almost yeah. 20 years of studies that you must have put into. So, yeah. All right. and, so and, I, I do, and I do answer for that small thing. If you have a strange sprains, this sprays and these uh, oils, they work. Right. But right. not per se arthritis in a different grade. All right. So, but what about the, the, the ointments, the gels that are available over the counter? What do they do? All these, whoever claims, they're just managing your pain or they're just managing your, uh, uh, what do you call the feel of it. So what do they do? And who do you uh, recommend some kind of gels or ointments? Uh, practically, I don't recommend anyone with osteoarthritis, but I do see a lot of physicians being uh, addressing them with uh, some ointments. Uh, probably it may give even my grandmother, whenever I go to my hometown, she'll ask me, get me two gels. Uh, so I try to explain, but I still give her gels because she mentally feels, uh, you know, she's okay when she rubs something on the knee joint. But right. per se, to be very honest, uh, a gel 
gels application on the knee joint is a placebo effect to be very true all right so yeah and here's an interesting question mr arif khan is asking why do women face more of knee problems is there any uh, added uh, uh, problem to it a very nice question again i think um, in india we do see uh, women are going you know above near 50 post menopausal uh, we do take a lot of carbohydrate diet ma'am we don't usually take a lot of protein diet whenever we do go operate outside india in a developed nations their bones are rock solid they are like literally like a, like a, like a, like a very strong bones when we do try to do a replacements in our population they are like a english butter they are very smooth and soft uh, this is also one of the case why the osteoporosis as a india we are dealing a lot today in the country our bones are very uh, you know Brittle. they are very porotic uh, we as our, our, our females they don't out much and walk on the roads they don't much do physical exercises now things are changing in 2020 yes, and course. today 2023 much better but yet let's understand that women do not exercise as much get a chance of exercising as much i'm talking about the majority yes. of population not people like yes. us who have uh, facility and who are more aware now that we are coming out but menopause is something that all women cannot avoid hormonal issues uh, cannot be avoided avoided but if you see the ratio in india uh, the fe- the females are more prone for osteoarthritis than the males all right yeah. so dr garu one simple thing that i would want to understand are there anything that women and men should start understanding that they are deficient of what's the role of calcium vitamin d uh, you know osteoarthritis kab se check karna chahiye what is a simple test that can tell me that my bone density is not going great and when should i correct it especially females they should check their uh, if they are at all osteo they are at all post menopausal they should check their uh, levels we do a uh, Uh, BMDs and uh, we do their serum calcium vitamin D test. If they are deficient, we will replace them. We will mm-hmm. give the prescriptions for that particular point. Uh, doing exercises for the joint is definitely the way to go. The more you do the exercise for the particular joint, the joint will get more stronger, and it will definitely defeat the disease in a long term. right so one is uh, calcium and d serum uh, tests uh, that you have uh, mentioned and we uh, apollo 247 t- the team will leave a link for the tests that can be done in the description box as well and you will find them on your apollo 247 which are a physician recommended tests which you can take to understand where your bone health is and where you are heading out to. all right dr vijay kishor garu here's the next question which is basically myth busting question Neha is asking can drinking water in a standing position lead to knee pain in future I absolutely don't think but uh, I think even my wife says whenever I am drinking water when I am standing she tells me always sit and drink water this is some methodology of my grandparents who has put there in her mind probably i think it doesn't have any effect on the knee joint believe me but uh, i think do sit and drink water as our parents say sit and drink water is always better than stand and drink water so there's no other technical research to claim the benefit or uh, to to disprove it but yeah whatever that you could do okay um uh, sarabjot ji i i'm still waiting aapne age uh, 45 years hai sarabjot's question that i was waiting uh, she is facing uh, 90 degree se zyada jab bend karte hai then she has pain and burning sensation what could be the possible reason see uh, if it is 45 degree 45 years old have a knee pain then we must check uh, at least with the x rays what's happening with the knee joint before we used to see 50 k above people do have a knee pains nowadays we are started seeing much much younger people and uh, we do see a knee pains and knee replacements we do for a 18 19 years old small uh, young people too and for a different type of arthritis mm-hmm. like a rheumatoid arthritis like inflammatory right. arthritis so right. we need to evaluate her as a as a whole that what problem she is facing uh, if it is uh, no inflammatory arthritis then we need to check what is the status of the knee is knee is completely aligned 
our knee has some problem, uh, everything is all right or not. We need to at least a basic thing to check an X-ray of the knee joint epilator. And uh, they can visit a nearby an orthopedic surgeon and get a... All right. Thank advice. you. Uh, and Dr. Vijay Kishore Edigaru will be available on Apollo 24-7 for a consultation. We'll leave a description. We'll leave a link uh, to his appointment in the description and the chat box as well. Mr. Manohar, uh, 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 as you've asked how to talk, uh, contact Dr. Vijay Kishore, here uh, we cannot share the mobile number, but we will definitely leave a link uh, uh, to get his appointment for you. Here's an interesting question, doctor, that I found, which is relating to supplements. 52-year-old uh, uh, woman, Brinda Banerjee, diagnosed with OA, that is osteoarthritis. In two occasions earlier, she was given supplements of Freeflex and Joint Ace. Is it okay to continue these uh, supplements for a long term? Do they have any side effects? Uh, so, uh, I understand that glucosamine, it's a Freeflex is a glucosamine tablet. It's a supplement for the knee joint. Uh, if you see uh, in a developed nations, it's all available over counter. In India, it's so available only in the uh, medical uh, shops. And uh, it's a quite safe tablets. Uh, it does work on a grade one and grade two a lot. It, uh, it supplements the knee better. Uh, some Someone who has a pain for a long duration, diagnosed osteoarthritis for grade one, grade two, even grade three, they can take these tablets. They're very safe. They don't have any side effects. Great. So uh, these are available uh, on prescription, doctor. Who should take them and uh, what age? Is there any specification to take them? Nowadays, we started giving for even younger age who comes with a knee, uh, knee issues to us. If a cartilage damage happens in younger age, we do give them a glucosamine. If someone comes little elderly, above 50, have arthro osteoarthritis, grade one to two to three, before coming uh, to the proper thing, grade 1 to 2 is a mild to moderate arthritis. Grade 3, yeah. 4 is a moderate to severe arthritis. So we okay. do prescribe this glucosamine tablets in all range of the disease. Great. So yeah, Apollo 24-7 can be your trusted partner to get your uh, medicines. If you are already on any sorts of these supplements, do make sure that Apollo 24-7 is your partner in restocking your medications. Well, uh, doctor, here's a question again uh, on supplementation. Malini, who's asking, can vitamin D or any supplement help me for future or anything in the diet? See, if you have a vitamin D deficiency, then only you have to take vitamin D supplements. Okay. If you so it's not, like, <laughs> it's, like, it's not it's like, not I like I take like vitamin D, I'm not going to get it uh, in future. It's not something uh, what uh, you what you what you you should not take unless until there is some problem. Even the glucosamine tablet also you should not just take. If there is a problem, then you should take. At least take an X-ray to confirm that there is a knee problem, and then take glucosamine is better. Right. Evaluate that you have a vitamin D deficiency, then take vitamin D supplements is better. Well, that's the simplest option. Apollo twenty four seven has a. Uh, vitamin uh, panel you can also do a d panel uh, test and you can see if you're deficient and then go ahead and consult and take so next question is mr manohar jagatyani mother is 72 year old and uh, problem knee joints for 10 years have shown to number of doctors across in mumbai but doctors a few of them say it's arthritis pain and i we don't she doesn't need replacement but uh, there are other doctors who say uh, the X-rays say do it after four to five years. So, who this this is a, a big question, doctor? Who requires replacement? What age do they re uh, need to replace their uh, joints? So, very good question. I think uh, from Mumbai, I believe, right, ma'am? So yes, yes, Mr. Manohar. The replacement can be done anyone whose knee is completely destroyed. The first question for that answer is, if the knee is destroyed, the meaning the knee is completely damaged, knee replacement is the mm -hmm. last choice for the knee damage, correct? So coming to the point, if you have very grade one to two, if you are less than 50, we usually don't advise them to undergo knee replacement. Okay. If they're above 50 if the joint is damaged completely that means grade 4 
then we do advise them to undergo replacement surgery. Coming yeah. back, if even anyone, even 20, 18, 25, 30, they have an inflammatory arthritis. The arthritis has come because of some inflammatory disease like rheumatoid arthritis, which we commonly see in our practice. There is no age limit for them. So I've operated someone who is 18 years who came from Assam. I've done all four joints, both hips, both knees. So means she's come to me with a completely bedridden with complete no motion. Now she walks. So today the quality of life is motion. Without motion, there is no luxury for joints. So if I coming to this particular patient, 72, a lot of doctors are telling she doesn't require surgery. Some of them telling after four years, that meaning that means she doesn't have much arthritis. She can try some injections, some medication rather than undergoing a surgery. Right. So uh, what's a, what about partial knee replacements, doctor? Now that we're talking about total uh, replacement, who requires a partial replacement? Partial knee replacement, if you see in the knee joint, there is a medial side and a lateral side. It means inside okay. of the body and little outside of the lateral side of the body. The two segments are there in the knee joint. Usually okay. in our country, we see much of them having a medial side of arthritis. Only one segment of the knee is damaged. Then we replace only that particular segment. That's called a partial knee replacement. It's much easier than the total knee replacement surgery. The recovery is faster. Now that we are doing with the robot, uh, the blood loss is also very less and the exposure is also very less. Oh, wonderful. And there, there you have an expert who does robotic uh, knee replacement surgery. So I think uh, the technology also has aided. We should be using them for our mobility when necessary. Well, uh, next question I would want to take up uh, is about younger people who have injuries doctor mr radhar sharma is 21 year old male and uh, he has knee pain for one year diagnosed with the uh, patella pain syndrome and doctors given supplements and suggested to do physiotherapy and uh, i don't uh, physiotherapist is not available closer so what should others do to possibly reduce his problems in future so if we would have probably, if you have done an X-ray, probably if the pain is not still going down, still is having a pain for more than a year, then I think my suggestion is definitely to undergo an MRI and then screen what's other problems happening in the knee joint. Because if it would have been a sprain, strain by now it would have gone, there is something else which is happening in the knee joint. It may be a cartilage mm -hmm. injury, it may be a medical injury that's buzzing and that's irritating his knee probably. And he mm -hmm. must do a, one MRI scan to evaluate completely and uh, see the specialist nearby. Right. So, yes, Adarsh Garu, Miru Varangal Lo in Kevinana suggests that a physiotherapist near Varangal is a very big city. I think you will be able to find a good physical therapist uh, or you will be able to find, you come to Hyderabad, there is Apollo in Hyderabad and we'll be able to help you down there. The next question is art by PTA. My husband has intense pain while driving his 53 year old. See, mobility is not just the issue. Day-to-day -day life, uh, there are a lot of activities that we do. Driving, walking, standing, the teachers who are standing for a long time. You know, professional activities require uh, joint mobility as well. So, uh, driving, yeah, is a problem in an uh, arthritic knee, uh, especially when they drive for a long duration. So, Correct. my only suggestion is, uh, uh, if, if it is a left knee, change it to an automatic car because you don't have to do much if it's a right knee then you have to stop every 45 minutes once and stretch your knee and strengthen probably before driving a lot it depends on how much length you drive if you have arthritis uh, my suggestion the people who have arthritis when they travel in the vehicle if you're driving if you're not driving make sure your knee you're not sitting in a 90 degrees flexion you just extend little recline yourself and make sure that you extend bit, bend your knee when you are traveling. Do ankle pumps every 45 minutes, 20 at least, so that you don't Even get flight, doctor. For a long duration flight, I think we should not We should be doing all of these. Not all just the cars. And, yeah, and, and you don't face problem when you are coming out of the car after traveling for one, one and a half hour. This is the, this is the main Absolutely. thing what a lot of people do ask. 
right so in case you are a professional driver who do who are engaged in uh, driving as a profession i think that's going to be you got to take care of your health right from the beginning pehle se aapka dhyan rakhiyega you can't stop because it's uh, professional you, drive and yeah. you don't, don't expect uh, them to stop every half an hour and 45 minutes to flex so coming to the point ma'am uh, very 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 nice question in fact a lot of them even including me uh, i stand for a good 10 to 15 joints per a day you know being a doctor joint replacement surgeon doesn't mean that uh, i don't get a problems okay, everybody will get a problems what what i have seen uh, the Wait, low uh-huh. sitting car the low sitting cars you have uh, more problems for the knee joint if you have a arthritis existing arthritis if you sit low sitting chairs the knee joint will be not very comfortable okay. if you are sitting in a kind of a suv kind of a vehicles where there is a high sitting the knee problems are little lesser Hmm. Right. So, vehicle position, your knee position is also very important. Next question is Deepanjali. Hello, doctor. Forty-four year old female. Do not have pain, but whenever I use staircase, I feel some kind of difficulty. Five uh, feet, fifty-three kgs. IT field where I have to sit in one place for seven to eight hours. Most of us do. <laughs> Most of us are in the same condition, uh, Deepanjali. and also doctor the sound the clicking sound that happens whenever you're taking stairs or walking what is this so this is coming to this uh, lady who is it professional sitting is a new smoking so don't sit mm. for a long duration so every yeah. one hour once you get up uh, that's your problem <laughs> that, uh, that's that what, is a reminder yeah. i'm moving my knee yeah. right now yeah so keep yeah. moving the knee sit make sure that you get up every time and yes when you climb up when you sit for a long duration you suddenly go up the stairs go up come down you will have an issue we do right. uh, hear this sounds the sounds comes in two different places one is you have a severe arthritis you will have a this cracking sounds because there is osteophytes inside because of the damage in the knee joint there will be extra bone formations uh, around the knee joint these things mm-hmm. can sometimes give the sounds in a elder okay. people uh-huh. younger people we see a lot of time the knee cap which is patella which slides right. on the thigh bone can sometimes give rise the sounds okay so the squeaking sound is not normal you mean to say or is it uh, something that is warning signal that your body is giving correct correct okay so it is. and what do we do once that sound starts what do we do and uh, uh, is it an exercise or do visit a doctor get an x-ray done what what what's your suggestion there strengthen the quads and hamstrings quads very and simple hamstrings. exercise yeah quads and hamstrings very simple exercise is sitting in your chair little higher little little you have to sit little little high so that your foot doesn't touch the floor and then slowly extend your knee joint straight and hold it for 5 seconds and then slowly bring the knee joint to 90 degrees if you do this at least for 10 minutes in a day your knee will be perfect ranjit singh ji aapne dekha hoga unhone pucha hai ki exercise dikhai and this is a simplest exercise that dr vijay kishore gar has shown us next question is mr neeraj neeraj has met with an accident about 8 months ago got surgery done for the left leg acl and uh, Uh, lateral corner, post lateral corner, and MRI says that articular cartilage is softened. And what do I have to do uh, for that? So uh, he underwent some uh, ligament surgery in the knee joint. I think it may be a pro- uh, arthroscopy. Uh, see, whenever this uh, injury and uh, when there is a torn uh, ligaments, they will be having some uh, you know cartilage damage too. Uh, the beauty of the young joints. they regenerate you know they 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 slowly if you give them supplement them with some prp injections or glucosamine tablets they 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 do well but make sure ranjit ji you do a good exercise for the, your knee joint you take a glucosamine tablets for some time at least a year or so yeah. and do uh, do do a proper uh, probably your doctor would have told you what to do what not to do and proper strengthening exercise for the knee joint will give you the better movement 
Yeah, and then Mr. Raj, Anthony Raj Vedanayakam. Oh, I am, I cycle, well, while cycling in the gym, my knee is making noise, making noise like Sudoku. Uh, I don't understand Sudoku noise, but yeah, the knee is making his... noise. While... Yeah. So when uh, you have a knee pain, particularly, there are two types of cycles. I do cycle, ma'am. I do sometimes weekends, I do cycle for 50 kilometers. Wow. Cycling and swimming, cycling and swimming are the best exercise for the knee joint. Great. Huh. Coming to the point, cycling, there are two cycles if you go to the gym. One is a low sitting cycle, one is a little up sitting cycle, right? Okay. So people who have who have a knee pain, who has a knee pain, they I don't advise them to sit low sitting cycle and cycle. That creates a problem. If you sit high sitting cycle, like if you see your pelvic bone, we call it ASIS. The hmm. seating should be higher. If you sit higher and then do you do cycling, that is the best for the knee joint. Wonderful. So the sound, he doesn't need to bother as of now. He should just change his position and then continue the strengthening. Yes. yes. Uh, here's a, a good question. Malini is again asking, do shoe have any kind of impact on our knee health? Should we avoid some kind of footwear to avoid knee pain? Oh, <laughs> so she's, uh, I don't know, she's talking about heels or she's talking about, uh, 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 I'll take into two shots in this question. So if you have a flat foot, a lot of people do have a flat foot. The uh, arch is missing. They don't, arch is missing. They, they can get faster arthritis because of their arch is missing and the regular alignment of the lower limb is uh, not proper. They should initially wear the medial arch probably shoe. That is the way to go. If you have mm -hmm. arthritis, then wearing this high heel footwear can increase the pain. Right. I got a point actually. Ah, ah. So uh, any kind of heel, it's not just the female uh, shoes which are made with those point wedges and all kinds of heels that they come. But Ajkal, you know, there are shoes with uh, heels as well. The soles are uh, uh, designed uh, that way. I personally have a problem with any kind of heel that is raising my 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 foot, including the the the, the so-called running shoes. I can I cannot. I need a nice good support flat shoe. Otherwise, I have a problem with it. So, is it individual so, body type based? Man, shoe shoe and chapel is something which is like um, it's a person to person match. Uh, it's like it's, it's a very very uh, different uh, issue altogether. But yes, if you if you have a overweight, then you ah. try to use this heel type of a footwear. Then it can damage your knee faster. Right, right, right. So yes, uh, uh, now coming back to diet and supplementation that we uh, we were talking about. Arif G is asking: eggs and milk are they good for knees? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. They are good for knees, but they are good for body. <laughs> there is nothing uh, great uh, for joints. I think eating right is something what I would do want to mention is right for the joints. Eating a lot mm -hmm. of vegetables, eating a lot of fruits are definitely good for joints. Uh, eating, uh, you know, uh, egg and milk is definitely good for the body. Correct. So here I think the intention is asking about protein and calcium. Now that milk or curds or anything that we talk about, people do talk about calcium. So now let's talk about calcium supplementation through food and through supplementation as we were talking about vitamin D. How good is this and how important is this? It's very, very important to eat right uh, for the bones, especially as I was just telling, whenever we do travel abroad for, uh, for visitations, we do see their bones are very, very, very stronger, much stronger. Uh, and when we do operate on our own population, we see uh, bones are like a butter, English butter. That shows that uh, we are very, very inadequate uh, in uh, eating correct. So eating a good hmm. protein diet, uh, I don't want to do discuss too much about it because it's a completely a, a different sector. When they do ask me what to eat, what not to eat, I simply suggest them to meet a dietitian because it's very important for them to understand what is right to their body.
someone who can drink milk very nicely someone who can't drink mi- milk right not. so my diet make sure that uh, they 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 give a plan for them and uh, make okay. sure that if they are vegetarians and non vegetarians uh, what is right for them and eating in non vegetarian a uh, good fish and vegetarian a uh, ragi and milk egg everything is perfectly all right and they should take you know the problem with our uh, indian population especially women they do a lot of fastings uh, this is another problem what we are facing they don't eat right and they eat lot of carbohydrates like idli dosa they don't take any proteins that's another factor i, I feel they need to make sure that uh, they eat right and if they have any doubts please do visit a dietitian and uh, enrich their protein diet into their system right so uh, after the diet now i come again from the uh, uh, diet part to supplementation again mr keshava murthy is pointing out to the newer uh, drugs which are available to reju- rejuvenate cartilage for knee pain due to osteoarthritis so uh, what are these newer generation drugs which are available and also you were mentioning about these injections if you can just throw some light there yeah ma'am uh, we were doing a lot of we were used to give a lot of medication for this osteoarthritis 10 years back now since last 5 uh, to 7 years uh, there is a huge bump uh, in a uh, osteoarthritis or uh, you know all these injuries in the around the knee we are giving a lot of injections at the moment mm. uh, at the moment uh, we are giving this uh, prp injections which is a plasma rich injections where we take a blood we try to get the best cells out of it we try to give them in the inside the knee joint which regenerate the cartilage that's that's the methodology but that uh, do work in a younger population not when there is a uh, patient who comes at 55 with a grade 4 arthritis we do also give a gel injections which also you know if you see in the us uh, a lot of uh, patients who undergo pre uh, uh, replacements they do get a shots of injections into the knee joints which is a gel injections which we do also give a lot of them again it depends on what grade of arthritis they do come the effect and outcome depends on what grade of arthritis people do come to us but yes okay. they do change they do change uh, the pain part in those patients they some of them they get a very great uh, outcomes really uh, probably 30% they don't get great outcomes in those cases we try to push them to surgical interventions all right so there are first not everybody is suggested to have a replacement or surgical intervention there are other ways to address it and then later so what suits one person is not the other person's solution everybody needs to be assessed absolutely yeah all right so Every, uh, all, all fingers are uh-huh. all fingers are not so all knees are not safe right So Hem Kusumji, 50-year-old female, diagnosed OA and uh, bending knee. Doctor says knees are okay, uh, but they don't need to do anything else. So how long does one need to wait? And what are the red flags? And when do they get back? Right now my knees are okay. You have osteoarthritis. So what is the period that I need to wait? So this is a very very important question today. We are uh, seeing a lot of sector of this segment. where mm. uh, they have a knee pain and where they don't require a surgical interventions but so if you, you see their knee joint looks not bad at all the around the age of 50 this this segment we see a lot of them in our day to day practice uh, so this is uh, very very important uh, to make sure uh, the plan is like to make sure their weight is correct the okay. plan is make sure their knee joint mobilization the exercises mm. they are doing correct and make sure they don't sit for a long duration they respect their joint this is very very important like uh, you have a knee problem then sitting down for a puja for one hour then say doc i am not well if you have a knee problem then you should not sit on the floor you should not squat you should not use indian toss these are the things you need to do make sure that you don't sit more than 45 minutes stay you start getting up from one position start moving uh, around you and then make sure that you do ankle pumps and knee range of motion so if you don't do this and then you try to sit for a long duration with at 50 you have a moderate arthritis then you definitely you have a 
pain coming on and off, then you'll be, you know, visiting the doctors very often. Absolutely. Wonderful way to put that, uh, uh, doctor, that we need to take care of our lifestyle modifications and physically that we need to. Now, the moment I have some kind of pain, I remember uh, uh, my father who always used to like physiotherapy for some reason, that his pains, he was elderly, so he always liked some kind of massage or physical therapies or who does require uh, physical therapy? See, physical therapy in a knee joint is more of uh, exercises. Uh, someone who can't do on their own, they can be dependent on the physiotherapist. Someone who can grab what exactly required for that type of a knee joint, they can do on their mm. own at home. This is for osteoarthritis, okay. what I was talking about. If somebody is doing some massage, you know, you definitely, it will be great when they're doing it. When they're not doing it, then again, you'll have a pain. So this is something uh, uh, very strategic uh, stuff. So, but if they can do on their own, for them, I think they can visit one or two times to the physiotherapist and they can do on their own. Right, so someone right. who needs a help, who need an attention, who can't uh, need a motivation, then they require uh, people around them. Right. Renika ji, uh, regarding uh, drinking water while standing, we have addressed this issue. You can go back, rewind it after the live session is done, you'll find. All right, next question. Uh, uh, two people who are young people who had injuries uh, asked Ashik Latif, how long will the knee pain last after my ACL reconstruction? Age is 24, uh, 26 year old. And Anil Kumar, ligament tear seven years before, got operated ACL. Now in winter and rainy season, it tightens or it uh, gets into a cramp mode if I sit for a longer period. Would you like to suggest that how do I overcome Anil's pain? Uh, he's also Walking in the morning more than 25 minutes is also creating a problem in the knee. So I'll take the first question first. I think ACL post one year, uh, how long the ACL takes to recovery? ACL is a ligament in the knee joint which uh, makes sure the knee is stabilized in a correct position. Uh, I think he got an ACL tear, uh, probably underwent arthroscopic ACL reconstruction. Usually it takes, I do allow all my post ACL reconstruction patients back to the field back to the game after six months. They can have their normal activity after six months if it is done well. I don't want to comment how is the previous surgery been done. If you have an issue, definitely we need to see an MRI and make sure that everything all right. And okay. coming to the second uh, patient, I think uh, he had seven, seven years back ACL reconstruction, still not happy with the uh, post surgery. Then we need to see uh, how is this ACL in, uh, reconstruction been done one. And how is the graft mm. being placed to? How is the knee been doing? So I need to definitely check your MRI and then assist mm. how is the knee looks like after seven years of the post ACL reconstruction. Right. Uh, that's wonderful, sir. Thank you so much. And uh, Dr. Vijay Garu can be consulted uh, and we leave a uh, uh, link to his appointment in the description. So here's a question, interesting question that I can see. JL Kapoor, 83 year old, knee in the knee pain in the rainy season. Does the season have any effect on arthritis or pain? Yes, we do see a lot of uh, people coming uh, in a winter season. We have more pain. Hmm. In a summer season, we don't. We have a less pain. That's because they don't move much. They will sit and you know they kind of uh, they keep, they keep themselves very safe uh, in the houses they don't go outside i think this yeah. is what we see uh, but if they do a regular exercises that should not be a problem wonderful so here's uh, another question uh, that is important while walking they're all fine but somebody has problem taking the stairs uh, and one last question that i can take quickly doctor and also can prp be given to elderly people yes uh, prp is very PRP is very safe. A prior, we used to give a lot of steroids way back. Now we are all turned to PRPs and visco supplements and mixed gels. So they are very safe and they are very good for elders. No side effects. Yeah. Great. And how about somebody who is walking is okay but uh, taking stairs is difficult? It depends on what type of arthritis. If it's a grade 4 arthritis, they will definitely have a difficulty in walking up and difficulty in coming down from the stairs, then they need to evaluate where they're standing with their knee, how the knee is looking like. If the knee is completely damaged, then they have to see the options. 
if a mm-hmm. knee is very mild then they need to figure it out with the physiotherapy and exercises yeah all right so uh, uh, last up, i think pooja we've been talking about how you take care of 50 year old osteoarthritis uh, there was lovely information given by dr vijay kishor reddy here i think yes doctor uh, there is uh, uh, most of the questions are answered but would you want to take up something like, like torsal tunnel syndrome how can that be healed jafar ji pooch rahe so we need to evaluate uh, you have a torsal tunnel syndrome there is a good medications available uh, we need to make sure that uh, what's your exact complaints it's very difficult to say in this platform uh, if it is diagnosed there is a medication available which get you better yeah done all right so doctor i think we're running short of time and most of the questions are uh, answered so now i would want you to give us top tips to maintain good knee health and uh, keep knee pain away so knee joint is a very large joint in our body if you have a knee pain in young age you must visit knee to evaluate what's happening to your knee you can definitely avoid a lot of problems in future if you are elderly if you have a knee pain swimming and cycling are the best exercise for the knee joint doing a static quadriceps exercises range of motion exercises every day like you brush your teeth you do these exercises quadriceps exercises range of motion exercises in the knee joint and sitting for a long duration should be avoided doing ankle pumps and ranging your motion from 0 to 90 degrees is the way to go to stop the problems in the knee joint wonderful doctor thank you lastly pradeep panigrahi ji aapne last bhi join kiya hai so you missed uh, the information that doctor saab has already given you can go back after the live show you can go back rewind the show and watch it again thank you so much dr vijay kishor reddy garu for this wonderful time and great advice right. namaskar thank you thank you sir here's a health quiz coming up i'm going to ask you three questions and you can answer as uh, in the chat box i'm going to um, read the questions in a few minutes winner's name will be announced towards the end of the show and winners will be selected at the sole discretion of apollo 2417 and if i take your name to be the winner please do, do write back and contact us at marketing@apollo247.com gift vouchers will be shared with you may i also reiterate that the chat box uh, of youtube only not on facebook or instagram here are the questions for today on the screen fill in the blanks question number 1 i se shuru hota hai ye shabd i space j space r y is one of the most common causes of knee pain what is it question number 2 true or false may answer kijiye surgery isn't the only treatment option for knee pain is that true or false question number 3 yes or no may answer kijiye knee pain is only a problem for older people is that true or false So these are the three questions. Please do type uh, your answers on YouTube chat only. And in the meanwhile, while you keep answering, uh, let me see what's up. We have coupons to give away. Please do download Apollo Twenty Four Seven app. You can consult our experts. Doctor Vijay Kishore Reddy can be consulted on uh, Apollo Twenty Four Seven as well. And uh, once you want to consult our top doctors, you get up to one fifty rupees cash back on online consultation when you use the code ask doc one five zero a s k d o c one five zero so download apollo twenty four seven right now and the next coupon that we are giving today is code first three f i r s t three this is the code that you can use and you can buy medicines order medicines direct from apollo and get twenty five percent off on online medicine orders this coupon is valid for first three uh, medicine purchases. above 1000 rupees and you also get a two hour delivery window as well and hh247 this is the next coupon do write this down hh247 this is exclusively for health our viewers you can use this in addition to the other two coupons that we have given away you get 199 rupees off on online doctor consultations with apollo doctors and up to 20% off on medicine orders as well so these are the coupons please do download uh, apollo247 and also here's an additional uh, uh tip apollo 247 is on whatsapp save this number 09355247247 to avail healthcare services just a text or a call away and here are the winner names the winners are seema bhanu prakash and art by pta i am repeating seema bhanu prakash 
asked by PTA, you're all new winners uh, this week. So please do write back to us at marketing at Apollo247.com. Uh, you you'll be intimated in the chat box as well with all your details and you can claim your prizes, which are health credits. So next week we shall see you. That is 13th August 11 a.m. Hair and skin allergies. All that you need to know about uh, the allergies of hair and skin. Do join us where we have a dermatologist joining us next Sunday. Till then, please do take care. Namaskar.